All right, so we have another Casio on the bench here. This is a G-Shock, and this is supposed to be the DW5600. So this is going to be a really nice watch, but, you know, this is different than the classic blue and white Casio box because this is a G-Shock, but let's get it unboxed. You didn't come here to look at the box. You came here to look at the watch. All right, so in the box, we do have the watch right here, and it also comes with your warranty card, which does look different from the normal uh, Casio warranty card. They did put the book, the manual right here, which I always recommend going through these. There's always some little thing that maybe you didn't know how to do um, that's gonna be in here, and then the watch itself. So this is a real G-Shock, but what's really nice about this one already that I like for me personally is that this watch face is a lot smaller than a lot of the newer uh, G-Shocks like the Cassie Oak, etc. If you look here, we have the F91W. Obviously, this watch face is quite a bit bigger than the F91W. Probably my favorite that's like close to a G-Shock, but it's not, is the 800 right here. Um, as you can see, the watch face is pretty close to the same size. But let's go through the G-Shock now. We do have this uh, full resin strap, and this is a quartz watch, which is really, really nice. All right, so we look on the watch face. We do have the day of the week, the date, and the time. All right, I really like this blue, and you can see right out of the box, it stays on for a good while, which is really, really nice. All right, so let's just go through the different modes here on this 5600E. So if we go here, we have the normal time where we're gonna have the day of the week, the date, and the time. We're gonna have an alarm, a countdown timer, and then a stopwatch, which is really cool. And if we go back to the normal time. Now, if you want to set this, you are gonna have to touch the adjust button that's right up here. And as you can see, like, you can like kind of see the other three buttons, they do stick out. Whereas this adjust button does not, which is a good and bad thing. It's good because that means you're not going to accidentally uh, change the time, but it's bad because it does make it harder to adjust the time. So you have to like hold it down. Now you can see the seconds flashing and you wanna go through the mode button here and that's gonna change the hour. Now, obviously for me, it is a different time, but really you just, you know, you just cycle through the different times here, right? And then you can change the day of the, the date or the year, then the month, and then the day. And then that's gonna automatically change the day of the week for you. So it's really, really nice, but let's get this on the wrist and see how it looks. So as you can see, this isn't like a big bulky watch. It's kind of like the right size in my opinion. It's not as big as the big Cassie Oaks, which I don't have any right now to do a comparison, but I think this is a much better, more sensible kind of everyday watch, especially for sports and stuff, um, and, which is kind of the whole point of what a G-Shock is supposed to be, in my opinion. And that's why I like this one so much, and it's potentially going to become my daily watch.